Welcome to the Legacy Education ICD-10-CM Guideline Review Series. I am Tiffany Roach, the Coding Coach, and I will be walking through the ICD-10-CM guidelines with you. This video will cover the chapter-specific guidelines for Chapter 12, Diseases of the Skin and Subcutaneous Tissue that are represented by codes L00 through L99. This presentation is designed to review the ICD-10 CM guidelines that are effective for both fiscal year 2024 and 2025. There were no changes to the guidelines from fiscal year 2024 to 2025. Chapter 12 starts off with coding for pressure ulcer stages. Codes that are found in category L89 for pressure ulcers identify the site and stage of the pressure ulcer. Pressure ulcers are based on severity and is designated by stages 1 through 4, deep tissue pressure injury, unspecified stage, and unstageable. It is important to know that you should assign as many codes from category L89 as needed to identify all pressure ulcers that are present on the patient. When assigning a code for an unstageable pressure ulcer, this should be based on the clinical documentation. Unstageable codes should only be assigned when the pressure ulcer stage cannot be clinically determined, such as when the ulcer is covered by eschar or has been treated with skin or muscle grafts. This is different from an unspecified stage when the documentation does not have any information regarding the stage of the pressure ulcer. If during an encounter, the stage of an unstageable pressure ulcer is revealed after debridement, the code for the stage revealed is the only code that should be assigned. Your coder's assignment of the pressure ulcer stage should be guided by your clinical documentation of the stage, or you should use terms found in the alphabetic index. For clinical terms that are not found in the alphabetical index, and no other documentation of the stage is present, your provider should be queried. When a patient is admitted with a pressure ulcer that is documented as healed, no code should be assigned. Pressure ulcers that are described as healing should be assigned the appropriate pressure ulcer code based on your documentation. If the documentation does not provide any information regarding the stage of the healing pressure ulcer, the appropriate code for the unspecified stage should be assigned. If the documentation is unclear as to whether the patient has a current or new pressure ulcer, or if the patient is being treated for a healing pressure ulcer, the provider should be queried. Ulcers that were present on admission and have healed by the time of discharge should be assigned the code for the site and stage of the pressure ulcer at the time of admission. If the patient is admitted to an inpatient hospital with a pressure ulcer at one stage and then it evolves or progresses to a higher stage, two separate codes should be assigned. One for the site and stage of the ulcer on admission and then a second code for the site and the highest stage that is reported during the stay. For pressure ulcer, Induced deep tissue damage or deep tissue pressure injuries, you should only assign the appropriate code for the pressure induced deep tissue damage. Now let's shift our focus to non pressure chronic ulcers. When a patient is admitted or seen for a non pressure ulcer that is documented as healed, no code should be assigned. When non pressure ulcers are described as healing, they should be assigned the appropriate code for the non-pressure ulcer based on the documentation that is present within the record. If the documentation does not provide information on the severity, you should assign the code for the unspecified severity. If the documentation is unclear as to whether the patient has a current or new pressure ulcer, or if the patient is being treated for a healing non-pressure ulcer, the provider should be queried. For non-pressure ulcers that were present on admission and documented as healed at the time of discharge, you should assign the code for the site and stage of the non-pressure ulcer at the time of admission. If a patient is admitted to an inpatient hospital with a non-pressure ulcer at one stage and it progresses or evolves to a higher severity, two separate codes should be assigned. 
First, the code for the site and severity of the ulcer on admission. And second, for the same ulcer site and the highest severity level that was reported during the stay. As always, thank you for supporting us and stay tuned for new videos in our ICD-10 CM guideline review. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can be in the know of our newest videos as they are released.